What's your take on how the sport has evolved since, I guess, then and now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it seems like we've lost the, um, the artistry of the bodybuilding, you know, the physique. Because back then, it was really about building the most perfectly developed male physique. And everybody always took into account symmetry and shape and proportion. And the body just had to look beautiful. It wasn't just about getting as big as possible. But back then in the 70s and the 80s, you couldn't get as big as possible because even though steroids were around, the guys today are using now other drugs like growth hormone and insulin, and they're actually even shooting oil into their muscles, you know, in certain body parts. So they are getting so humongous, that wasn't even possible to get that humongous before. So before everybody, of course, wants to be big, everybody gets into bodybuilding to be big as possible. But uh, we always... You know, I think in the 70s and 80s, when I think back and I was competing in that era, we always took into account, you know, how the physique looked on stage and we were all good posers. It was really important to present your physique really well on stage. And everybody was a good poser, even like at the local level, even if you weren't like really a naturally gifted poser, everybody tried to be a good poser. Nobody, nobody just went up there and winged it. Everybody really gave it an effort because it was really important. It was like an artistic thing, you know. And we all had a respect for the sport. And I think we've really lost that symmetry aspect of it and the beauty aspect of it. It th doesn't count anymore. And I think the judging is, you know, gone towards just size and conditioning, whoever is the biggest and the hardest. And we've lost that shape and, and symmetry. And I think we've really uh, lost a, a big part of our audience too, because of that. And I think the general public kind of looks at bodybuilding now as a freak show where before, like in the 70s and 80s, and I know they were just starting to kind of, um, they were just kind of like recognizing bodybuilding for the first time in the 70s. It's funny, if you look back at that era, like Hollywood was really fascinated with muscles and with bodybuilders. And if you look back at a lot of the TV shows and movies in the late 70s, early 80s, there was a lot of TV shows that had bodybuilders in them. And it was because they thought it was really cool to have muscles. And now I think it's looked kind of down upon by the general public because it's just gone too far and the guys are just way too big, you know? Yeah, you know, I saw there were like, I think they, oh man, this is way before my time, but like Dave Draper was like an actor in a way, right? Like he was yeah, like featured on different things. Yeah, yeah. Right, like, and, and it, do you think it has to do with uh, business more than, and but which kind of contradicts what you're saying in a way because it's like if it's about business or money but we're losing audience how does that make sense yeah. right 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 no it just seems like you know like all sports they all progress and in bodybuilding the way that seemed like we progressed was we just keep getting bigger and bigger you know and it's bodybuilding is a different sport than any other sport because of course like track and field or football if you can get a guy who runs faster or scores more touchdowns or scores or, or makes more home runs or, or runs faster or jumps longer. That's all good. You know, that's how progress is measured in other sports, but with bodybuilding, we're not only looking at how big a guy can get, but also how symmetrical and how beautiful the physique can be. And once they start getting too big, it ruins the, the symmetry and the aesthetics of the physique. And if you look back, you know, like guys like Bob Paris and Frank Zane and, uh, Lee Labrada would always say that, you know, I can only develop my physique up to a certain point. Even Arnold said that. I've got quotes of Arnold saying that. Like, I remember him saying that 235 was his ideal weight. And he could get bigger than that. But if he got bigger than that, it would ruin the symmetry of his physique. It would ruin the, the, the shape of his physique. So even he recognized that. And he was like one of the, he was the biggest guy at that time. So you have to look at it like an artist. It's not like you just want to keep pushing the boundaries and you know, pushing the numbers higher and higher and higher. It's not like who gets the biggest. It, you have to take into mind that symmetry and stuff too. So, right. Well, thankfully for natural bodybuilders, that's not a problem, right? <laughs> no, we, we, we're kind of limited in how big we can get, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Mike is still so famous. You know, he's been dead for 20 years and he, didn't, he was competing in the 70s and his last show was 1980. So that's 42 years ago. And he's still so famous. It's like people still, every time I do a show about Mike Bunser, it gets a lot of ratings.